I'm Emily Butler and we're here at Bliss Studio Custom Metal Work. Let's go check it out. Absolutely. Um, so it wasn't really something that I planned. Uh, when I was 18 years old, I started out, I was at Western State College in Gunnison, Colorado, and I was making jewelry. Um, loved working with metal, but I found the jewelry was uh, a little bit more tedious than my personality allowed for. And uh, it all ended up really, really heavy. So it wasn't very practical. I found it kind of limiting as far as uh, what I wanted to do. So. Um, about a year into my, my metal working, I was coming down to Colorado Springs and I'd hang out with my uncle in his wood shop down here. He's right next door to an industrial welder named Chris at Bow Steel and uh, they're buddies and Chris told me one day, you know, if you want to, you come over, you can uh, dig through my scrap pile, uh, use my material, use my welder, use my knowledge. So I went over there with the grocery cart, filled it with scrap and spent the whole weekend welding and that was the end of the jewelry career. Um, the welding just made a lot more sense to me. Um, working larger, it's really resilient, um, a lot less limits to me on, on what I could make. Um, was welding through all of this while I'm also experimenting with uh, clay and glass and uh, painting silks and uh, just really enjoyed uh, learning a lot of different techniques. So all of this philandering I was doing with all of these different um, mediums just kind of clicked when I figured out that I could heat up metal and move it kind of in the same way as clay. I realized that I could have not only a very resilient uh, material, but that I could move it in organic ways. So that's, that's when I fell in love with it. And uh, about a year after I started uh, working with David, um, I decided that, well, this is my path. I'm going to give it a go. Um, I came back home to Monument to, and started my business. So Very yeah. nice. Do you have any like signature pieces or fan favorites? Um, I think that the most recognizable pieces um, in the Springs especially are um, uh, the Spirit of Manitou, which we just installed uh, last December. And if you haven't seen her, you should go see her. She's okay. one of my favorites. This Path of Vitality um, is my new favorite piece. I just like love everything about her. And then of course the ones at Flying Horse, um, anybody who lives there probably <laughs> sees those quite often. Those so are very nice. And how many pieces do you do on average per year? You know, total jobs <laughs> and ranging from, uh, you know, a very a small, a uh, couple hundred dollar piece to the, the larger sculptures, several hundred. I think in 2020, we probably, probably did 300 or more jobs. Of course we do railings and gates and fences and um, architectural and furniture, fire tables. So we also have quite a few of those on the, on the docket, but luckily um, I have an awesome team of seven employees. So, um, and, and a number of them have been here for a while. And so we have a very nice flow that happens. Everyone it kind of fills their niche and we've gotten to the point where, where we're very efficient at getting things through. Nice. So, yeah. A good system. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's great.